do you have the congregation report like a look at? Sure, sure, right here. Now, do we need to set up a warning for the meeting? A warning? A warning, yeah. Um, what exactly would we be warning them about? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm back in Vermont. In Vermont, for some reason, they, they call meetings, or when they call a meeting, they say warning. I remember uh, my clerk of session, she called me up, the very first congregational meeting we had there, and she says, do you want me to post the warning for the meeting? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, warning? <laughs> like, same thing. I'm like, what did I get myself into? I got to <laughs> gonna have this congregational meeting where people are going to be yelling and screaming at me? You know, do we have to warn people about a meeting? And she's like, and it, she's like, yeah, we have to warn them. I'm like, well, why do we have to warn them? We're going back and forth for five minutes. She's not understanding me. I'm not understanding her. Finally, it occurred to me that warning in New England just means a notice. They just put up a notice for warnings, like the borough will warn you about a meeting. Any public meeting has a warning. And so, yeah, it took me a while. I thought I thought we were going to be in a fight about the meetings. Well, was there something controversial that happened or was going to... Never anything meeting? controversial. It was just yeah. a basic meeting. So, I'm sorry, it's not warning. It's just a notice. So, I think... I think we're all right. Okay, you had me a little worthy there. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, all righty. You know, it's fascinating how customs can be so different in different locations. Even in the United States, from western Pennsylvania all the way up to, to Vermont, things are different. Language is a little different, expressions are different, and there's sometimes customs that are different. Um, and, you know, we find ourselves kind of confused or maybe even intimidated by the differences that we encounter when we travel to different places. Not just uh, here around our country, but even in foreign countries with foreign religions. It can sometimes be overwhelming. But, you know, in the story of Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem, they encountered a lot of strangers, and yet they welcomed them. And we'll look at that and reflect on that this Sunday as we travel through Advent and what it means for us to encounter the stranger.